Well, we know and we don't want to get nostalgic on you, but it's actually in a good way. When I say baseball, what comes to mind for you? Is it a specific game, a memory with a family member like my dad? Well, maybe meeting a favorite player. Author Nick Del Calzo has compiled some of the fans best stories into a page turner that is bound to knock it out of the park. But he needs your story to help finish the book. Nick, Blaine, it's so great to have you both on the show today. We're talking about America's favorite pastime here, something so exciting, baseball, very appropriate to talk about it right now. Nick, tell us about your book and how you got started. Well, uh, I've done three other books, and uh, my son uh, approached me and he said, I, Dad, why don't you think about doing a book on baseball? I, uh, I questioned him about that, but... Uh, he had a good idea, and, and we just want to concentrate on have a book on just the fans, how fans have been affected by baseball. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea, too, because so many of us, and I think almost every single one of us, have been affected by baseball in one form or the other. I have to ask you, Blaine, when you first heard about this idea and you guys kind of thought about this, what did you think? I thought it was an amazing idea. My initial reaction was um, there's probably already been a book like this, um, but in our research we found that there was a lot of books on, you know, statistics, Hall of Famers, um, famous stories, but there wasn't really anything that was really fan-centric, and that's what made this such an appealing project. I agree. I totally agree. Well, Nick, you have to tell us your baseball fan story. I mean, what's your story and, and how do you really relate to baseball? Well, when I was about 10 or 11, my brother uh, took me and my sister uh, to Yankee Stadium. From New Jersey, we went to Yankee Stadium and I was thinking I was going to go to the ball game. When in fact, uh, we were part of the 125,000 people who were standing in line to pass the casket of Babe Ruth, who was at the, uh, his casket was at the entrance of Yankee Stadium. So that's what my baseball story is about. I can not forget seeing his face. Wow. Nick, what, what did that feel like in the moment to be able to witness something so historical? Well, it was, it was quite a treat, but I, the impact came later when I realized what actually happened. To, to be my three feet away from the casket of Babe Ruth. Yeah, that's incredible. And I'm sure that's a story that, you know, your kids and your grandkids and everybody is just thrilled to hear about too. Blaine, I have to ask you about your baseball story too. Um, I have a lot of baseball stories, but, but my fondest memory is uh, uh, going to the Bob Feller uh, Museum with my grandfather, um, something we got to share and, and uh, be a part of. I was pretty young, um, but having, uh, you know, being able to share that with someone who's important to you and kind of, um, you know, connect on different levels um, through baseball was really impactful. I'm happy you brought that up too, especially sharing it with someone important to you. Blaine, why do you think a book like this is so important right now and so important when it comes to, you know, connecting families and friends? Well, I think you, you touched on it right there. It's about connecting. Um, and I think with each year that passes, I think we, in, in the world, you end up with all these things that sort of divide people. Uh, and baseball is something that, that brings people together. So I think it's, it's a great time to have this, um, to be able to share your stories um, and also connect with other baseball fans through the book uh, itself. Maybe you never get to meet those people, but you get to read and, and identify with their stories. I couldn't agree more. Nick, can you give us a few examples? I mean, your story is kind of hard to beat, but are there any stories that you've heard, especially when compiling this book that have really stood out to you? Well, there are a couple I'd like to share with you. Uh, there was a um, a, a woman who had Hodgkin's disease and it turns out her doctor was a, a rabid uh, Detroit, Fire, uh, Detroit Tigers fan and she said to him if you cure me I will get you the uniform of your favorite Detroit player uh, a Detroit player's uniform well as it turned out he healed, he healed her took care of her and he and she made good and presented him 
the, the uniform for his favorite player. But the interesting part about that is that she worked for the company that made the uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> she was pulling those strings and making those connections. That's, That's right. great. That's amazing. <laughs> what other stories have been impactful for you? Well, there was this one about the, a grandfather who was a Baltimore Orioles fan and they were tearing down the stadium and he ended up buying about a half dozen of the seats and took them and planted them in his basement and in, in, as a way to share baseball with his grandsons where they would come over, watch baseball, but he would also teach them about life as well. How do we tell our story if we oh, want our yeah. story told? By all means, you just go to the website. On the website, there's this place where you can enter your own story and send it in via the website. So it's very easy to do. Very easy. Well, guys, it's been such an honor, such a pleasure to talk to you both. I think this whole interview and your book is just a total home run. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys being here on the show. Nick, sir, I am buying your book. And Nick's book, My Baseball Story, The Game's Influence on America, is now halfway to being published. Nick is still looking for unique baseball stories to add to his pages. So if you'd like to share your story, head to MyBaseballStory.com. Nick is also donating all proceeds to his college fraternity for student scholarships.